How many people eat carbonara? Yeah. A lot of people eat carbonara. Nice. Okay. And I'm sure everybody has their way of making it, but I make mine with part bacon, part pancetta. The bacon for the smokiness and the pancetta for the little bit of like that. They have peppercorns and different flavors in the pancetta, so it adds a lot more flavor to the end result in the carbonara. So you brown up the pancetta and the bacon. Here, let's put the bacon in there first. Just like you would when you're making any bacon, just, you know, brown it up, crisp it up. And then when it's crispy, I add, I sprinkle cinnamon, ground cinnamon over the top. And the cinnamon adds a little bit of sweetness and a lot of warmth because as the fat sort of renders out of it, it's nice and it's still um, warm and it sort of absorbs the cinnamon into the pancetta and the bacon. You know, you wouldn't eat this on a regular basis every week, but you have special friends coming over and you have a wonderful brunch, this is a great dish, or you know, it's just one of those things where you can't eat a lot of it, but I'm telling you, you will dream about it. <laughs> That's how good it is. So you just add the pancetta in there. Heavy cream, and it's gotta be heavy cream. Low fat milk, doesn't work. Parmesan cheese, parmigiano di giallo, and that's a lot of cheese. Mix it together, okay? And then add one egg yolk at a time. And just mix it in there. It's kind of like, you know, scrambled, e scrambled eggs and pasta. So mix that all in there, just like that. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and break, make sure you break the egg yolks, okay? And that's gonna, and now, let's see here. As soon as this gets nice and crispy, add a little bit of the cinnamon right on top. So, uh, can you guys smell it? Yeah. And in the wa and then I use fresh fettuccine or linguine for this dish, and only because. The fresh pasta absorbs the cream sauce a lot better than dried pasta does. So yes, you can substitute, but it's never gonna be that exact carbonara like you would get in Rome unless you use fresh pasta, okay? So you cook the pasta, cook this, cook the manchita and the bacon, turn the heat to low, and this is, this is sort of the secret here. You turn the heat to a simmer, and you add the cream and egg and Parmesan cheese into it, and you add the pasta. And on a simmer, you just gently toss all of the ingredients together and you will start to see that the cream with the egg yolks and the cheese and the pasta start to thicken slowly. Now, if you boil this mixture, you're in trouble because it'll curd up and separate and then the eggs will look scrambled. So you really want it to be a nice, smooth cream sauce, okay? <laughs>